today we're going to be looking at just the basic uh, desktop environment in Slitza, which is called OpenBox. It's a very lightweight uh, desktop environment, loads very fast. Um, and let me just start showing you how some of it works. By default in Slitza, you got your desktop background here, and you got a few files on the desktop here, our icons. Uh, and we're going to look at, right now I'm just going to right click, and you can see favorite applications. So you can go to file, make, uh, file Manager, which I'll have a tutorial on here soon. And that's basically just some shortcuts to your favorite stuff. You can configure that by clicking there. And you can change, if you install Firefox, you can change your, your default web browser to uh, Firefox. That way, anytime you click on HTML, this is the application it's going to open with. Uh, if, if you want to change your, your text editor to something like Nano, you can change it in here. You just Nano, and uh, that should change that fine like that. Default terminal. But basically, you know, these are just defaults what applications open up with. Uh, so we're going to exit out of that. I'm going to go to desktop icons. If I wanted to create a new directory, we can name it whatever. We'll just call it metal make directory. And there we have a new uh, folder within our desktop. Uh, we can create a new file, which is basically going to create a, uh, a, an empty file or a S, uh, shell file. So if you wanted to create a script file, basically they're both text files, just one that's we all show you. We'll click sh file there, and when we double click on it, I'm maybe it's trying to run it. Oh, I guess it gives it executable permissions when you do that. Automatically adds your your little header there saying that it's a script. So that's nice that it creates that script for you and seems to make it executable. Well, let's actually let's let's test that out. We'll go. Um, I don't know. We'll just leave that like that. Anyway, I don't want to go off. I don't want to get off into something off subject. I'm limited on time here. Uh, I do lots of tutorials on scripts, a whole lot. I have a whole website dedicated to it, bashscripts.info, if you're interested in writing scripts. Anyway, uh, and we can add a new icon, which it's thinking about. There we go. Okay, so now we can go through here, and if we wanted to add a shortcut to one of these, uh, let's say we want to add a shortcut to our web browser, we can click that, we can click Add, and there, now we have a shortcut to our web browser that loads very fast there. The reason this probably took a second to open is because it probably had to generate this list of installed applications since it's constantly changing as you add and remove programs. It's got to do it on the fly there. Um, <clears throat> Next thing on the list, desktop effects, not going to really get into that. Um, here's a shortcut to open, you know, you can open up your home folder, desktop, media, or mount uh, directories just by clicking on them. So it's kind of like a shortcut area to, um, to basically when you're in your browser here, you can see the stuff over here, and I'll show you how to add stuff to that when I do my tutorial on the file browser. Clicking on this, going down to uh, Slitza Live. This is creating a live CD or USB tool. Those are things I am going to give dedicated tutorials to on in the future as well, so we're not going to get into that. OpenBox, once again, our desktop environment here is called OpenBox. Uh, you have OB Config, which is your configuration. You can change your theme and your appearance and window style and, and a bunch of stuff in here. Mouse, uh, you know, focus, uh, focus window when the mouse pointer moves over them. So just basic, basic desktop features that you may have played with in other uh, desktop environments. But I just wanted to quickly show you that. Once again, that's something I might do a tutorial on in the future. Uh, auto start scripts. This is important. If you want a program or a script to run when the computer starts up, this is where you put it. Um, and right here you can see there's four things on the list. One has an X to it, so I'm assuming there's an issue with that. But uh, we're using the LX panel. Now LX uh, is a, another desktop environment, but we're just using the panel from that, and that's the panel down here, which I'm going to do a whole tutorial on here soon. So as, as you see, I'm, a lot of stuff I'm showing you where stuff is, but I'm giving you f full tutorials later on. Um, this is basically starting up your wallpaper and icon, your desktop, which is... Uh, 
running uh, basically your file manager is in charge of that and uh, this will automatically uh, runs in the background uh, and it mounts devices so if you plug in a USB drive it will automatically mount so those are the three things very short list here which is good less things in there the better really but if you want something to run at startup when the desktop starts up not necessarily when the system starting up uh, this is where you can add it you can click add and you type in the application and any comments on it and if you choose one you can click configuration and uh, you can actually see, well, I guess you don't have to click on one, this is your auto start script. So basically this is creating a shell script that loads at start time. So you can manually edit this as well. Um, so I would do one or other, I wouldn't be bouncing back and forth between the two. We'll exit out of that. If we go back down to open box here, uh, we have open box menu, which is your start menu here, or system menu, whatever you'd like to call it. And basically it's an XML file that contains all the information uh, and you can manually edit that uh, I might do a tutorial on that in the future but uh, it's it's pretty self-explanatory if you're at all computer savvy at all I mean it's just an XML file so it's a tagging language you should if you've never messed with it before if you look at it you should be able to figure out how it works but I might do a tutorial if I have time on that later uh, reconfigure and restart I'm not really sure what reconfigure is but restart basically you can see restart stuff so if for some reason your panel down here crashes and you lose your panel you can right click and click restart and it should reopen up that panel desktops uh, these are workspaces by default you have two you can see them here so if I open up my file manager here I can go to another window here and open up my terminal and I can switch back and forth between the two if you want to add another desktop workspace just go down to desktops and click add new and you can see it adds a third one now, desktop three. I will open up both a file manager and terminal in there. Now, if you decide you only want, you want to go back to or add more, you can always add more. But if we remove last, remove last, and you'll see that it took what was on the last and moves it to one before that. So now, desktop two actually has three windows open on it. Desktop one has one. And you also notice that when I did that, our icons on our desktop uh, disappeared because it uh, must have crashed that little application. We'll just click open box restart and it reloads our icons there so that's about it and then you got your log out and your log out options to log out of X shut down the computer reboot or cancel so that's a quick look at just the desktop environment here and uh, I hope you keep watching because I have a lot more tutorials coming on Slitza have a great day and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this